Hey, this is Bruce from Gilware. Uh, today we're talking about power loss or power surge. Uh, this is a common occurrence we kind of see more in the summer months. Uh, you get storms out there, you got people plug their computers right into the wall instead of using a surge protector. Um, get a lightning strike close by or, or, or on the house or building they're in and boom, all of a sudden everything's toast. Um, power loss also could be from lightning uh, hitting things. It could be a squirrel call, crawling in a transformer. Uh, a lot of is different reasons why it can be power loss, sudden power loss. But um, with power loss, a, a hard drive is normally it's it's operating, it's spinning, it's it's the platters are spinning, the hard read write heads are always on there floating above there doing their work. When you normally shut a computer off, the proper way you t uh, a signal is sent to read write heads to go to their, their spot. They have a landing spot or a, a ramp they park on, and then the hard drive spins down. When it's in the middle of operations and that power just suddenly cut, because read write heads don't, didn't get signal. So as those platters spin down and slow down, that, that little cushion of air these read write heads uh, are, are floating on doing their job goes away and read-write heads can uh, make contact with the platter. In some cases, causing severe damage um, to the platters, which is, is not fixable, uh, that's lost data. So when that happens, um, in some cases, the read-write heads will get stuck to the platter. It'll, they'll sit there. Well, somebody loses power, what do they do? They go, they turn it back on, and they may hear a noise or a clicking. Uh, I'll shut it back down, wait a second. I'll turn it back on and I hear it again. Continually doing that, it's possibly either the read-write heads are preventing the platters from spinning, which then puts strain on the motor, or you're going to go ahead and you're, those platters are going to start spinning with that read-write head on that platter and it's going to cause uh, rotational scoring. Again, not a good situation. So for the power loss, you're looking at read-write heads and platters as probably the, the main focus of, of where things can go wrong. The power surge more on the PCB. So the printed control board on the back, circuit board on the back, power goes in, gets too much on it, you could fry the components on there. That board does not function. It does not provide power to the rest of the hard drive. It does not power up the platters to spin and it doesn't allow the read write heads to read or write data on there. So if the PCB is dead, the hard drive is a brick. So. In these cases, again, software is not going to help you. Uh, you're going to need to get this into a professional lab, have them take a look at it uh, in a clean room environment, and invest in, you know, see what causes, uh, or I guess, see what problems the, the power loss or power surge may have caused in there. So, have any questions, please call our 800 number. Uh, if you've run into this situation right now and you want us to have a free evaluation, uh, you can click the button below there to get started on that. Do a free in-lab evaluation, tell you what we found, and at that point you decide if you want us to continue or not. All right, thank you very much.